and welcome to the tip of the week. I'm Dr. Amy Starr with the Mesa Veterinary Clinic, Paws and Hoods Mobile Veterinary Services, and San Francisco Staples. So this week I'm going to teach you guys how to clean ears. This is very important and we do recommend that you clean your pet's ears at least um, every two weeks or so. You want to make sure that their ears are staying clean so that they don't get infections. Also by doing this you can be checking their ears every so often so that if there is a problem starting then you can you know bring them into the clinic and we can take a look. Ear infections start for many different reasons. The number one reason we see here in El Paso is because of allergies. You can get an ear infection in either one or both of the ears. Um, sometimes the allergies cause more fluid in the ear canal and the environment starts to change and you can get yeast or bacteria infections. Don't ever let infections go because they will get worse and it will be more expensive to you and more painful for your pet. Also, a lot of people think that ear infections are caused by mites and so they go to Walmart or go to the pet stores and get mite medicine and they just keep treating and treating while the ear infection is getting worse and worse. So please don't do that, just come in and we'll take a look. <clears throat> this is Robo and I'm going to clean his ears. Robo, can you sit? Good boy. So, usually what we recommend is that you have either some gauze or you can just use a Kleenex and um, you know, you're going to wrap it around your finger and, and use that to wipe out. We also recommend that you have a couple of Q-tips. You can just use regular human Q-tips. We use these just for ease. The dog's ear canal is like an L. It goes down and then towards their nose. So you're going to come down like this and then towards the nose. So you're never going to hurt them using a Q-tip. And you're just going to use it gently and just kind of clean out the folds. So we also recommend that you have a good quality ear cleaner. Um, this one is malacetic. It actually has medications in it that help to clean out the infection. But you want to make sure and use one that is a drying agent. You don't want to leave fluid in there. Don't ever use hydrogen peroxide or alcohol as that can also irritate the ear. So usually it does take two people. I'm going to try and see if Robo will let me do it on, on by myself. You're just going to fold up the ear here like this and you're going to pour a little bit of that fluid in there. We well, usually recommend doing this outside because they will shake their head and you don't want to get it all over your furniture. And then once you have the fluid poured in there, you're just going to massage at the base of the ear like this and get that fluid all worked up and get that whole canal cleaned and any discharge that there is worked out. Once you do that, and again, it's usually easier with two people, so one person can hold, wrap a Kleenex or a gauze around your finger and just use it to wipe out that canal. And you can wipe out anything that's in there. If your dog's ear is healthy, you're not gonna get anything. Like you just might get a little bit of wax or some brown discharge. And then um, you can use this, a little Q-tip, just to clean out the folds. There are many folds in a dog's ear, and you're just gonna use that to clean out those folds and make sure that the ear stays healthy. So you can see I'm just getting a little bit of discharge. Not bad. Hold on, Robo, don't leave us. <laughs> and then a lot of times they will shake afterwards. Go ahead and let them shake because that allows whatever is down deep in the canal to come on out. And after they shake, you can do one more swipe and just make sure that you're getting out whatever is in there. Okay, so if you have any questions or if you want to be shown, please come into the clinic and we can definitely show you and help you with that. And we do recommend that you clean at least twice a month. Thank you and have a great week. Bye-bye.